Hey everybody, it's Mike Frieder here with On-Call Compliance Solutions and I'm back with another Compliance Tip of the Week. Today we're talking about NIST SP800171 Control 3.13.5. It's my absolute favorite control of all 110 controls. If you could have a favorite compliance control, I don't know. It's just really short, so uh, why not, right? Hey, uh, implement subnetworks for publicly accessible system components that are physically or logically separated from internal networks. You probably are going to this control and you're like, man, this is a big complicated control, but here's my answer. There are no publicly accessible system components, period, right? Now, uh, a lot of times when people look at the system security plan, they're like, hey, there's three check boxes. There's implemented, there's planned to be implemented, there's not, not applicable. Wouldn't this be not applicable if that was the case? I say no, and the reason is because uh, we choose to make sure that there aren't any publicly accessible system components making this a really easy answer. You could have an open Wi-Fi network for guests. You could do that, right? But we choose not to. And therefore, there are just simply no publicly accessible system components. I love short, simple answers, especially when the control starts sounding complicated. So that's why this is one of my favorites. And hey, if you're trying to get compliant with DFARS, NIST SP800171 or CMMC, or maybe you're just, I don't know, not as passionate about solving this as we are, don't worry, our compliance experts are always on call for you. Visit NIST800171compliance.com or check out the bio below before, uh, for links to make life easy. There you can find one, uh, excuse me, you can find more information about how we can help self-schedule time at uh, your convenience with one of our compliance experts through any form on the website or learn more about our completely done for you services that can have you on your way to being compliant in just two to three days and not have to figure all this stuff out yourself because it's tough. And hey, if you love the content we're putting out for you, help us out with a big thumbs up on that like button, or even better, smash the subscribe button to get the latest compliance content as soon as our compliance nerds roll it out. It's a great way to stay prepared for that upcoming CMMC certification. Everybody's gonna have to eventually go through it. And hey, until the next compliance tip, my friends, stay safe and secure out there. Take a breather, that was an easy one. And hit us in the comments below to let us know what you'd like to know more about when it comes to information security and compliance. I'll see you on the next one.